Have you ever stopped to think what makes Satan's proud? That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. This Tuesday, September the 30th. Satan's glory. Satan gets the glory when we roar in anger. When we get upset and lose our cool, Satan gets the victory and he rejoices. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 32 says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit is better than he that taketh a city. I can't think of anything better than if we hold our spirit, it gives Satan a defeat. That's what the Bible is saying. Just being quiet and not overreacting. The world may think we're losing, and it may look like in the world we're losing, but in the spiritual realm, Satan's losing. And that's where it counts. Satan loses when we're quiet, but when we roar and we get angry and we show ourselves, Satan gets the glory. And it takes a strong person of faith in God to really shut, uh, to take their spirit and shut their mouths and let God do the work. It takes a real strong person. But that's where grace comes in. And standing by the Lord, we'll get all the grace we need to keep quiet and give God the glory. Ecclesiastes 7, 9 says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Don't be angry. Don't be an angry type person. God calls the man of self-control the perfect or the complete man who can control himself. James chapter 3 verse 2 says, For many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able to also bridle the whole body. If you can control your mouth, you can control your whole body. So let's work on being people who are kind, quiet. And if we speak something, it will be words of help, not words of hindrance. And it will be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.